Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new in here. In today's video I wanted to talk more about education control system. So without further ado, let's start today's video. There is one target above all others for human hand manipulation, perception. Without that, everything else would fall. The hybrid elite have created perceptual emotion programming system in which the target population largely programs itself. And what is the best way how to control them? Get them while they are young. Parents are the first perceptional manipulators of the program, as is anyone else who has a regular contact with the child in his first years in this world. The great majority are not even doing this knowingly, but because they have been through the same programming process that their child has just begun. Parents have downloaded this fake sense of reality, the program, and believe it to be real. They have accepted its version of everything, life, self, possibility, and all its yes and no. Lifelong programming stage 2 is when children enter the school system, and now the elite has a total control over the child's mind. Children arrive in this reality and within few years they are sitting at the desk while authority figure representing the elite is telling them when they have to be there, when they can leave, when they can talk, when they can eat and even go to the toilet. For the rest of their childhood and into their teenage years, they are listening to Elite's version of everything, five days a week, and then they are tested in exams to see how well they have absorbed this programming. The more you absorb and accept, the more successful, bright and clever you are judged to be. But if you don't accept that all and if you question things, you are considered to be a failure. The whole education goal is to suppress any potential or gifts that the system doesn't want or need. One of the most profound forms of programming is familiarity. When something becomes familiar, how things are, it bypasses the conscious mind without further debate or questioning. It becomes subliminal and fades into subconsciousness as a reflex state of acceptance. We are bombarded with subliminal advertising and images all day, every day, without us ever even knowing. Whole point of the education is to prepare children for the workplace. And how extreme and insane is that infinite awareness and potential should be programmed to fit government, giant corporations and economic structure established and controlled by the elite for their own benefit. John Rockefeller founded the US General Education Board at the start of 19th century. He said, I don't want nation of thinkers, I want nation of workers. Program doesn't want anyone from the target population to speak or write intelligently enough to expose the system on any level, nor do they want creative people who are influenced by the right hemisphere of the brain. Left brain perceptions are those of mainstream science, politics, economics, business, medicine and media, mainstream everything. These are all products of the program, which has its home largely in the left side of the brain, which sees everything in linear terms and the illusion of time, and you cannot have a free world without a free mind. The right brain is everything the elite don't want, with its potential to express creative, free spirit and boundless imagination to sense and feel beyond the program. Psychiatrist and writer Ian McGilchrist talked about divided human brain, saying that division is the core of the problem because the both hemispheres should work as one unit. 
he explains how the left brain has a narrow focus on the detail, while the right brain sees the context of the detail, it connects the dots. Left brain is knowledge about the things that are already known, while the right brain is the true wisdom. The system's version of education is knowing ever more about what is already known or claimed to be known. That makes left brain prisoners who don't question anything. All this is done to suppress potential and turn children into computer minds programmed by the elite. Whatever time is left after school and homework is increasingly spent on mind-manipulating technology, smartphones and video games. The system has implanted into us this belief system that the system knows the best and is always right and that it's far more easier to follow the rules than to question them. This is a psychological preparation for a lifetime of believing the system and following its rules. But maybe without all these rules, our world would be totally different. Schools are only the first stage of education program. Second stage is college or university. But they are not places of learning today so much as places of earning, thanks to the debt in countries where they make you pay for your education. If you want to do something and degree is the only way how to get there, I understand, but don't do that only because everyone else is doing that. Don't allow them make you believe that pieces of paper define your failure and your success. They do not, unless you allow them to. Not everyone is here to be enslaved, but the manipulators know that if they seize minds of great majority, any free thinkers will be kept in line by pure pressure. The world is run by people who are not very bright, but they think they are. Politicians make decisions and impose laws based on their downloaded sense of normal, and most scientists make conclusions about reality from the same perspective. All day, every day, television shows wheel out experts who are usually the most perceptually programmed to tell the public what to think and what to do. Central to the whole delusion is to pursue people that they get it, even when they don't begin to get it. The system is self-generating perceptual motion machine, a conveyor held for the mind like any factory floor. Raw material, children, enter at the start of the machine until they wear out and drop out into a recycle bin. Reincarnation. Those that can't see what is happening or even just some aspect of that are silenced, ridiculed and demonized by the public. This flow of life continues generations after generations after generations. Buy, consume, work, die. They call this life apparently, but it is not life. It is existence. It is survival. It is program. It is simulation. It is matrix. You are a slave. So guys, that's it for today's video and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, press this video big thumbs up or you always also know what to do and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and I hope that I'm gonna see you also in my next video. Bye!